Hi all, I am Aishirya presenting the topic Basic System Backups and Restore Operations. In this presentation, we will be discussing about backups, backup procedure, backup strategies, backup and restore commands. Backups Backup simply means making a copy of something for safekeeping in case the original became unusable. Simple words we can say that if any problem happens to your system, the data, the file will be lost. So we need to make a copy of it. So this is known as a backup. The copy should be stored in different hardware than the original. For example, you can copy a document in a document folder to USB key, CD or even online service. The only thing wrong with a backup is that you have to do them and this is a big problem. Necessary safeguards against disaster backup take time and are generally not used. That we are not aware that when the disaster will come. So a administrator who are not doing regular backup will lose data in this time. It is the only disadvantage. Routinely storing ND file system or individual directories and files to protect the integrity of the system and your work can be very time consuming or it can be a fairly well automated. That is why routinely doing backup the file system or individual directories, it will protect the integrity of the system. Here a question arises, why should you bother making backups? One of the main reason is if the computer fails, hard drivers fail and it is impossible to get data from it. And if the system or software crashes, sometimes may corrupting or deleting the documents. So it is our responsibility to make a copy of our data in a safe place and we need to back up the important file that we want or the file which is impossible to recreate. Backup procedure An important function as a system administrator is to maintain the integrity of the data on the system. Since hardware does break and people may mistake that it is imperative that you make frequent backups of your file system. That way in the event of a disk crash or accidental deletion of your files, you can recover a recent version of the data or program. Generally. You backup data from disk to tape or removable optical disk for long term storage. And if you have the disk space, you can uh, consider making a backup copies um, of critical data files on, on other disk partitions. If your system does not have backup medium, emphasize to the uh, power that be that some someday your disk will crash and you will not be able to recover that the data. That is you may that is you may lose data if you doesn't backup at correct time. Backup strategies. Take a full dump of your 
all your file system soon after installation and personalize, personalizing the system. After this, uh, you can periodically take any of the backup strategies. The strategies are mainly three. First one, full backup. Second, incremental backup. Third, differential backup. Let us see more about it in the following next slides. First, let us see what is a full backup. A full backup is complete copy of your file system. This should be done monthly or weekly on each file system. Second one is incremental backups. Here, it copies only the files that were added or changed since last lower uh, lower level dumps are backed up here we are not taking the entire file system only the files that are added or changed after the la uh, last lower level dumps are backed up so we can save considerable space and time incremental dumps should be done weekly or monthly daily depending on on their importance differential backup copies all the files added or changed since the last full backup if we are doing an incremental uh, backup in the day one and in day two and uh, in day two Three, uh, in day 2 a uh, full backup and in day 3 we are doing an incremental backup and uh, in day 4 if we are doing a differential backup copy the data since uh, the day 2 onwards backup and restore command here we will be discussing about four commands they are dump restore tape archive program cpio let us see more about it one by one dump the program dump can be used to backup complete file system there are 10 levels of dump 0 to 9 here the 0 is a full dump while 1 to 9 is an incremental dump uh, the level 1 dump will include everything changed since the last 0 dump and the level 9 dump uh, will include those files ch changed since the last lower level numbered dumps. The dump command can access remote or local drivers. If, you wa if we want to use um, remote dump command all you need to do is precede the name of the tape device with the name of the remote host that is in front of the name of the remote host we need to add the name of the tape driver also if you want to use the remote dump in some unit system there is a second dump command rdump which specifies a remote dump restore most of many variations of the program that extract data from dump tapes are called a restore and we can say that it is used to retrieve files from backup or other medium created by dump you can restore entire file system or you can interactively restore individual files with the restore program restore or ufs restore if were dump if they were dump command tape archive program that is tar the tar tape archive program is used to copy files to and from tape or across network and it is mostly used in Unix 
system so it's convenient for moving files between different systems unix source archive example those are on archive.cis and many other places are often stored as compressed tar files and here compressed compression generally saves a uh, 1 by 2 2 by 2 2 by 3 of the original file space it compress, compressed tar file usually have a name similar to file name uh, file name dot tar dot z the gnu compression program gzip use, uses different compression scheme which may have ending the file name with the z or gz a compressed file is a binary file the tar command can also be used for backups although it is more appropriate for creating archives selected files that is tar command can be used for backup also and there is no interaction mode for reading files from the tar file it is possible to list the file contained in the tar file and the issue second command to specific file but not the convenient to generate a tar file uh, we want to write the command tar minus cvf file name dot tar list of files here cvf are some options that will be discussed in next slides and file name can be any of the file name that we wish and if you can just easily put in to on the tab also by using the command tar minus cvf slash dev slash rm t8 list of files here are some options for the tar first one is c c is used for creating a new tar file uh, next is verbose print out the file name as they archived f use the next argument as output file t list of files You can extract file from tape or ta tar file with tar minus xvf slash dev slash rmt8 uncompress file name dot tar dot z uh, which produce file name dot tar as an output and next command is tar minus x vf file name dot tar uh, it is used to extract the file this tar minus x vf file name dot tar is which is used to extract the file next command is cpio cpio copies files in and out of the cpio archive cpio or cp in and out has one more mode that when combined with the find utility let you to easily move entire directory trees this is a pass mode here in this mode it takes the entire hierarchies from one place on the disk and make a perfect replica of them in another The arguments used in the CPIO are first one P pass mode and here it creates a replica of the path name read on the standard input D create a directory as needed L create a link if possible and U is used uh, unconditional and overwrite the file if the already exists and is uh, newer than the copy A minus a reset the uh, access time of the original and replica file to what it was prior to cpio running 
minus m reset the modification time of the replica file to match the modification of the original. So let us conclude our topic. We discussed what is a backup. Backup means making a copy of something for safekeeping in sense the original became usable. And uh, we studied that is a backup strategies. They are full backup, incremental backup and differential backup. And we uh, learn uh, what many backup and restore commands. They are dump, restore, tape archive program, CPIO, etc. Thank you.